Sad news for Assassin's Creed fans out there. Looks like Ashraf Ismail has actually stepped down from the company. Now this happened probably overnight because there is nothing about it on the internet. I figured I might as well bring the news to you guys. I have been on some serious, serious reports, but nothing quite like this. I Speaking in a conversation with Eurogamer, Ubisoft replied due to some tweets that were recently deleted off of Ashraf Ismail's personal page. Now, his actual personal page has been deleted as well, but here's what was said. In a report with Eurogamer, they state, Ashraf Ismail, creative director of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Origins, and the upcoming Assassin's Creed Valhalla has stepped down from his position with U Ubisoft following allegations about his personal life. Ismail took to Twitter to announce he was leaving Valhalla Quote unquote, to properly deal with the personal issues in my life. Now the following was what he actually posted. The lives of my family and my own are shattered. I am deeply sorry to everyone hurt in this. There are hundreds of talented, passionate people striving to build an experience for you that do not deserve to be associated with this. I wish them all the best. Great story. Compelling and rich. End of quote. Over the weekend, Ismail was accused of cheating on his wife and lying about his marital status as part of a fresh wave of hashtag MeToo allegations in the game industry as well as elsewhere. Ubisoft said in a statement, Ashraf Ismail is stepping down from the project to take a leave of absence. The development team is committed to delivering a great game in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Earlier this week, multiple studios distanced themselves from writer Chris Avalon, after allegations of harassment surfaced. And overnight, Insomniac Games, de developer of Marvel's Spider-Man and Ratchet and & Clank, responded to a former employee's allegations of sexual harassment while at the studio. Other Ubisoft staff have faced sexual assault and harassment allegations in recent days. In a statement issued to Eurogamer on Tuesday, the company said, quote, We are deeply concerned by these accusations. We take any allegations of abuse or harassment very seriously, and we are looking very closely into the allegations to determine next steps." End of quote. Now I'm going to get something out of the way right now. This page is not a political page. The main reason why I wanted to point this out was because I hopped online to do a little bit of research with this to see if it was real or not, and I could only find a report with Eurogamer as well as as well as GameIndustries.biz. Now I will leave a link for both of those reports down in the bottom if you guys wish to read them yourselves, because it looks like almost nobody even knows about this. This must have happened overnight. Now. Should we panic as fans? Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Does this mean that the game's gonna be delayed? Does that mean that we lose Ashraf in the future for future games? And knowing his track record with Black Flag and Unity, that would definitely be a loss. Now, personally, I feel like he's dealing with this in a very mature, responsible manner. He's not going about it responding with harsh things or anything, he's deleting his own personal pages and separating himself from the company so that Ubisoft takes as little of a blow as possible. At close range like this, the force is going to take you off your feet for sure, but it's really no more painful than a punch in the chest. Are you getting punched in the chest? You're going to be fine, baby doll. If there's one thing we know as fans with Ashraf Ismail is that he, obviously, really really is passionate about this company and he really wants to see them succeed while any and all allegations of actions such as these need to be addressed and need to be investigated i hope that we all can remember that the best way to go about this is to let that personal business be theirs this report is not to try and publicize this or to make a parody of his own personal life and because you're a really amazing director. And personally, some of your games have made a deep impact on my life. So, what does this mean altogether? Let's form a general consensus here. 
as Ashraf stated in the statement, that there is a massive team that's stepping up to be able to fill his place and make sure that this game gets out on release date so that everybody can still enjoy his work. I highly, highly encourage the fan base to show your respect. Do not flood the internet with this information. Try to handle it with a little bit of rapport and let his personal life be his personal life. That being said, I know that this time is very stressful time for a lot of people. There's a lot going on in this world right now that we're not all happy with. Me personally, I try to focus less on the hard things and focus more on things that I can do that are creative, that bring people happiness, and that's the reason why I do this channel. So guys, all in all, it's been a depressing as fuck video. I feel like everybody needs to know understand what the company is going through right now because there is always an off chance that they could postpone the game. Do I think that they will? No. They've never missed a release date with Assassin's Creed. And they, for better or worse, <laughs> they never missed an Assassin's Creed release date. Ah! I think we all can agree on that. All in all, that's it for the report today. Small topic, depressing one, I know. I'm going to try and add in a little bit of clips here in the video to lighten it up a bit, but uh, I don't think that shit's going to work, so... Fuck it! Here's some kittens dressed as assassins! Anyways, guys, this has been your Manic Assassin, bringing you the latest on Assassin's Creed, for better or for worse. Hang in there, Ashraf. And to everyone else who's struggling during these times, stick in there. It gets better. You have people that care about you. And you are important. Peace. From the entire Channel 4 News team, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. Ah!